Hi and welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kate. I'm an integrative relational psychotherapist, a life coach, a yoga instructor and an author. If you would like to schedule an individual online session with me, you can find all of the relevant information on my webpage. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the games narcissists play, namely, fake it till you make it. I'm almost certain you think that narcissists are these perfect individuals who are grandiose, who are omnipotent, who know everything, who are super powerful and wealthy and educated and well-read and, you know, there is not a single flaw that you can find in a narcissist. However, if you've ever been in a relationship, especially in an intimate relationship with a narcissist, then you know that narcissists wear a narcissistic mask and they adapt this mask depending on who they are interacting with. Why am I telling you this? For one very simple reason. Narcissists are in fact quite insecure. They have a very low self-esteem and they are often struggling with the underlying depression, feelings of unworthiness, and also feelings that they are not really lovable. Yet narcissists never openly show all that. Maybe in their moment of weakness, which happens every now and then. But in general, if you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you often get a feeling that there is something wrong with you because it is your narcissist who is trying to convince you of it. And because you believe that narcissists always know it best, you of course believe them. And you never even question whether what they are saying or what they are doing is actually true or right. But why are narcissists really playing that game? Well, for the above mentioned reasons, feelings of unworthiness, feelings of being unlovable, they have extremely low self-esteem and they also have this huge fear of rejection. That's why they are always, always, always trying to have the upper hand not only in relationships but also in every situation that they find themselves in. But why am I really telling you all this? Well, because when you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you often feel like not only that there is something wrong with you, but that you are not smart enough, that you're not pretty enough, that the things you do are not really worthwhile, that whatever you do is not good enough. Bottom line, there's something wrong with you and you are not good enough. And your narcissist is making you feel that way in order to lift himself or herself up. And the reason they are doing that is because they are terrified of being uncovered, meaning that they are so afraid that somebody might one day see through them and discover what they really think and feel about themselves. That's one of the reasons why narcissists have this really enormous difficulty letting people close. And if you are in an intimate relationship with a narcissist, you always feel that you can reach your narcissist up to a certain point and then you hit a wall. So what is this fake it till you make it game that they are playing? This is a game they are playing in order for their ego and low self-esteem to remain at a fairly high level. Because if narcissists were, wouldn't pretend all the time, they would have to face their own fears, their own demons, their own insecurities. Like I said, they are really afraid that somebody might discover who they really are. And in essence, there is really nothing wrong with them. It's just that they are so rejective of these negative feelings like sadness, fear of abandonment or depression, anxiety. They don't want to even acknowledge that sometimes they too feel like that, like all normal people do. And they are faking it until they make it because without this, their ego would collapse. 
their self-esteem would crumble even more. That is why they also need a lot of narcissistic fuel so that they can keep this inflated ego inflated. And they always compete with other people because that gives them a sense of power and of control. So if you want to confuse your narcissist, then try not to compete with them. You know, just be okay with who you are. Stop proving yourself to them. That will confuse them immensely. Narcissists also really hate it when they don't have control over the situation or if they are lacking certain information. Keeping your narcissist in the unknown will also confuse them significantly. I'm not saying that in order for you to be playing mind games with them, but you have to know how to handle your narcissist so that you don't get swallowed up by him or her or by his or her insecurities. Because narcissists are also very skillful when it comes to projecting all of the negative emotions they're experiencing onto the first person they come across and most often it's their significant other. So you know when you are in a relationship, any kind of a relationship with a narcissist, you have to be mindful of the fact that you are in fact interacting with a mask, with a fantasy, with an illusion that your narcissist is trying to create. First of all because they need this mask, they need the, this illusion in order to survive, otherwise they would die psychologically, emotionally. And second of all, they need this mask to keep the admiration going. If narcissists are not admired, if they are not respected, if they are not the center of attention, they also die emotionally. That's why there are these social butterflies who keep establishing very superficial relationships, yet these relationships provide the narcissistic fuel that they need. So I hope I've sort of unveiled a little bit the mystery of narcissism. Narcissists are very rarely what they present to the outside world. They are faking it. They often do not know as much as they say they do. You know, a typical example would be if you are in a conversation with your narcissist and he sort of quotes different authors or celebrities just like that off the cuff just to impress you. If you dig a little deeper and quiz your narcissist on that specific quote or on that specific author or whoever, you will realize that your narcissist is well-read, well-prepared, but that's, again, just an illusion. I'm not saying narcissists are stupid, far from it. They're highly intelligent. It's just that they know how to sell themselves really well. And often what they are selling is this beautiful package, and inside it there is very little substance. But that, again, doesn't mean that narcissists are completely without substance. It's just that the substance they have deep inside is worthless to them because they think if they really opened up and, you know, just interacted with other people from their true self, they will not be loved because that's what they were taught in their childhood. Narcissists are indeed extremely complex human beings. I sometimes feel sorry for them because it's really difficult to, to act all the time, to play a role that you've sort of designed for yourself in order for other people to like you. So if you are in a relationship with a narcissist, be mindful of everything that I've said. Try to get to know your true narcissist, not the narcissistic mask he or she is presenting. And, above all, do not take things personally. Narcissists are often just projecting their own frustrations, and by doing that, they are making you feel bad and insecure. Yet, what you are dealing with in that specific moment is their insecurities and their negative emotions. 
So always take a step back, take an objective look at what is being said or done, and do not take things personally because very often what narcissist is saying or doing has nothing to do with you. I hope this video was useful. If you want to learn more about narcissists and narcissistic relationships, I suggest you read my book, My Narcissist and I, How to Find Happiness. You can find it on Amazon. And also, if you're interested in communication with narcissists, I have a special course on that subject and you can find it on my Teachable website. You will find the link in the comment section. If you like the video, please do click like, subscribe to the channel and share the video if you think that it might be useful to anyone else. Stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.